Drobo Dashboard is an optional software utility for your Drobo. It provides detail on how much capacity is in use and how much is available for new data. It also gives you access to advanced features like email notifications. After it's installed, the Drobo Dashboard icon will appear in your menu bar. Click this icon to open the main dashboard window. The pie chart represents total storage on Drobo. Below this chart is a section called, How is my storage being used? Clicking on this dropdown displays the capacity breakdown bar detailing how the capacity in your drives is being allocated. To access more detailed information and functionality, Drobo Dashboard also has an advanced control section. The data protection section tells you the state of data on Drobo. For example, this section may display that your data is protected, as in this example, where it may display that data protection is in progress. Because the data protection process can vary depending on the amount of data you have on Drobo, a progress bar and estimate will also be displayed with the status. You will still be able to access data on your Drobo while data protection is in process. The Drobo Suggests section recommends actions to take during these certain states. If you click the Show Me How button, you'll be directed to a short video of the action being recommended. The Tools tab has four sections, Commands, Alerts, DroboShare, and Updates. In the Commands section, you can direct Drobo to go into Standby Mode, Blink its Lights, Format its Drives, or Rename a Volume. The Standby command is used to put Drobo into Standby Mode. Clicking this button will put Drobo into a state in which it is safe to disconnect Drobo. Only then is it safe to remove the USB or Firewire cable and power. Blink Lights is useful if you have multiple Drobos and you want to see which one you are currently viewing in Dashboard. Format is used to format or reformat your Drobo. Note that if you already have data on Drobo, this operation will erase all data. Rename allows you to change the name and drive letter assigned to your Drobo. The Drobo to send alert section lets you select the alert level for pop-up notifications. If your Drobo is connected via a Drobo Share, the Drobo Share section will be active, otherwise it is grayed out. For most network configurations, Drobo and Drobo Share settings are automatically configured for you. However, if you have special network configuration needs, clicking the Setup button displays a menu to change settings for your Drobo Share. Your Drobo Share has a default network name of Drobo Share and is part of the default work group. You can change these settings here if you need to use a custom set of settings. DroboShare connects Drobo to the network using DHCP by default, since most networks have a router or server that assigns IP settings using DHCP. If you need to manually assign DroboShare a static IP address, you may do so here. By default, all information on the Drobo is shared on the network. If you want to password protect your Drobo, you can. Just select Make DroboShare Volumes Password Protected and set a username and password. Once this is set, users will be prompted for the username and password credentials before they are allowed to access data on Drobo. The Updates section offers options to register your Drobo, manage your Drobo Care license, determine which version of firmware or software Drobo is currently using, or check any available firmware or software for updates.